Africa Global Radio. Our story, our growth, our future. Headlines across Africa. You are welcome to Headlines across Africa for today, 3rd April 2024. I am Mary Kisi. In the headlines, DR Congo appoints first female prime minister. Newly elected president Dumai Fai of Senegal appoints Usman Sonko as prime minister. And Namibia investigates search and rhino poaching in Etosha National Park. The Democratic Republic of the Congo has named Judith Suminwa Toluka as first female prime minister of the country. The appointment announced by President Felicia Sekedi marks a significant step towards gender equality in Congolese politics and the score in its importance and women's empowerment in national leadership. Judith Suminwa Toluka, a former planning minister, assumes her new role at a critical juncture for the nation, particularly in the strife torn eastern region. The area, rich in minerals and resources, has been plagued by relentless violence. Addressing the nation in her inaugural speech, Prime Minister Tuluka pledged to prioritize peace and development efforts, mainly in the conflict ridden eastern provinces. She expressed deep concern for the plight of those affected by the ongoing violence and reaffirmed her commitment to finding sustainable solutions to the crisis. President Basiru Dumai Fai, Senegal's newly elected and Africa's youngest leader's president, has announced popular position figure Usman Sonko as Prime Minister shortly after sworn into office. Fai and Sonko were among a group of opposition politicians free from prison 10 days before the March 24 presidential ballot and an amnesty announced by former President Macky Sall. Fai, 44 years, has never previously held an elected office. He served to a first round victory on a promise of radical reform after being released from prison. Sonko, 49 years, was at the center of a two-year standoff with the state that triggered bout to deadly unrest. Popular among Senegal's youth, he was disqualified from running in the March 24 presidential race and picked Faye as his replacement on the presidential ballot. Speaking after his appointment, Sonko said he would present Faye with a full list of proposed ministerial appointments for his approval, noting that there will be no question of leaving the president alone to assume this heavy responsibility. President Faye, in a brief speech after taking the presidential oath, says he is aware that the results of the ballot box express a profound desire for systemic change, adding that, under his leadership, Senegal will be a country of hope, a peaceful country with an independent judiciary and a strengthened democracy. <music> Namibian authorities are investigating a surge in rhino poaching that has seen 28 rhinos poached already this year two-thirds of them in the southern African country's flagship Etosha National Park. According to the Environment Ministry, it is particularly concerning that 19 rhinos were poached in Etosha this year, given the park is a focus for conservation efforts and a major international tourist attraction. The ministry statement condemned the barbaric actions of those involved and urges anyone with any information that may assist them in apprehending the suspect to come forth. Among the rhinos poached, 19 were critically endangered black rhinos and nine year threatened white rhinos. Rhinos are poached for their horns, which are used in East Asian countries for making traditional medicines and jewelry. 67 rhinos were poached in Namibia in 2023, a significant decrease from the previous year, when rhino poaching reached an all time high. And that is how we wrap up headlines across Africa for today, 3rd April 2024. We'll come your way tomorrow with more news right here on Africa Global Radio. I am Mary. For this and more, check us out on africaglobalradio.com, on Facebook and YouTube, Africa Global Radio, on Twitter and Instagram, AF Global Radio.